This video is going to be entirely focused on creators that live or work in the city. This is a type of video that I've wanted to make for a very long time now, and I want to move my channel and its content in this direction moving forward. So please let me know if you enjoy this type of video. If you watch any of these YouTubers, leave a comment. I'd love to know. We are walking up to the city bike so then we could take these to the meetup. I told people to vlog. We're going to see if any other vloggers show up. Ready to ride? Ready, let's ride. Not giving me any boost. So technically, the first YouTuber featured in this video is my roommate, Jared. He makes New York City street photography videos, and his content is definitely worth a watch. <laughs> Our first stop is going to be at the Creators NYC meetup. If you ever want to meet new YouTubers, this is the place to be. This is where the Creators NYC meetup is for this weekend. It's also my first weekend back in like four weeks. Hey. I am back. I was like, hey, you guys are late. We live like right here. Yeah. <laughs> no, no don't worry. Uh, I literally was like, oh shit, I'm, I'm right down the road. I gotta leave now. What did you do to your camera? Uh, so <laughs> I was I was at Versi a few days ago and this guy uh, really like oh Khalil you, yeah Khalil yeah takes everything. I was like, that's what it looked like to me it looked like the be more from like, Khalil this is a tool yeah. to create Mike for his brand like be you before that's so, so cool you got a personalized Thanks, camera yeah. yeah so my name is Yosha but here in New York I haven't properly found a way to make that stick in people's heads so if you have ideas please let us know. We were just talking and you're making a short film every single day here it's in New York City. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable at all. And I would not recommend. Has it been though? Vlog 15 today. It's been the most fun I've had in my entire life, creating every single day. It's like, there's no greater feeling than finishing a video, uh, which you are kind of a little bit proud of. I think that's always my measure. Is the video good? It's like, are you proud of it? Because it's hard to watch somebody that isn't enjoying what they're doing barely slept i've been awake till 4 or 5 a.m every single day to edit because it just takes me like six to eight hours to edit one video so it's been hard but very rewarding and i just try to find ways to make it sustainable that would yeah. be my biggest wish you're, you're from berlin right yeah. and now you're here in new york city at a creator somewhere how crazy is that that is <laughs> Tom, what are you recording with? I've got my DVD water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got some. B roll of the B roll of the B roll. Oh man. I want to avoid the parade. I want to avoid the we have a couple new YouTubers. Finding YouTubers from across the world and having them come to a Creators NYC meetup is amazing. That's exactly what this type of a group is for. It's so then people from outside New York City can actually meet people in New York City and be that like connection place for everyone. It's so good to be back here. I can't tell you. But uh, I'm probably not gonna be staying around too much longer. All right, well, great to meet you. Thank you so much, friend. Yes, I'm gonna link your channel below. So why should people subscribe? Uh, because I'm cool on the internet. Why should people subscribe to you? Um, I do day, weekly, weekly vlogs. <laughs> okay, so this is also down. I'm gonna link Jin's video down below. Jin needs um, more views. Jin needs more <laughs> views, he does. He makes videos every single week of the Creators NYC meetups and what's going on. He needs more views. I mean, he has been doing it for a long time, very consistently. They're all very good videos. Yeah. Very fun. What a fun meetup. I know, that was sick. It's been a while living with Walter, but he still hasn't really warmed up to me in a way where he'll just like approach me. Welcome to the next day where I'm going to be featuring a few more YouTubers. I'm heading over to Chelsea Piers to go help Jacqueline, nothing but tech, record her newest video. 
Let me know if you think I should tie in multiple days in these videos where I can feature more YouTubers all in one, or if I should just focus down on one YouTuber per video. I haven't been over here in a while. Side highway. Oh, freezing. It is only like 38 degrees outside. So like the parts of my body that were moving, those are warm, and everything else is cold. Fingertips, toes. These shoes are very breathable. And now I have to get over to Chelsea Pier in like five minutes. If I want to be considered early. I feel like a fool. I actually just got a message from her saying that she's uh, on her way. She'll be here real soon, so. I'm all set up. Um, just waiting for her to arrive. And I got myself an avocado snack. Okay, thank you. Nice. <gasps> <gasps> no, I got I'm gonna go down and grab a coffee and then we can talk through the script. What? I'm gonna ask her a little later if it's okay if I can film. Um, I'm sorry, Jacqueline. I think you might be okay with it. Let's try this avocado smash. Things. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Let's go. So we're done shooting. Yes. Thank How'd you so I much. Do? Amazing. <laughs> Very excited to review the footage. When you started like making videos, was it directly to YouTube or was there like a before YouTube? Yeah, of you course. I um I've been obsessed with making videos like my whole life. Um, so I feel like even when I was like six or seven, I was already making stuff. Not good stuff, but stuff like what was that fake about? blood. Uh, like, like was it like filmmaking? Oh, yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, cool. Um, when I was like a baby, and then my first ever YouTube channel wasn't even a tech channel. When I was like eight or maybe nine or ten years old, I had like a singing channel, which is okay. now privated. Um, of course. But I used to like love singing, um, so I would do like covers and stuff. Like Maddie B raps was like an inspiration for any like OG <laughs> people on YouTube. You made another reference, um, and then YouTube I started when I was thirteen. Did you ever do like covers of Maddie B raps? Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for the pass key to this <laughs> private channel. <laughs> it's like archived and never to be seen again. I haven't seen any videos in like I don't know seven years. When you were making videos on this other channel. Yeah. Did you ever see the path to being a YouTuber or was that? I always wanted to that? be. Like, I yeah. think like, okay, two things. I think when you're really young, you're like naive and like you have like probably the most optimism that you'll have. Uh, ideally you keep that optimism your whole life. Yeah. But I think when you're like a kid, if you're like lucky, you like are really optimistic about the world and like think anything is possible. And so when I was really young, I just, I thought it would be possible even though I didn't have any of the talent or skill at that point. Um, and I didn't know any of the steps either. And so I think like it's really, I love this idea that like the path becomes clear as you put in the work, like the work is what clears the path. Because I think when you're like at point A and you haven't done anything yet, it seems so overwhelming and you don't even know all the things that are gonna go right and go wrong. And then as you put in the work, like you discover like, oh, this is how to package a video or like this is how to get a brand, um, like work with a brand. And so I think like, I didn't know exactly the steps, but I thought that it could possibly happen. Do you think of it like in chapters? Like, oh, like, my, like, like the next yeah, chapter. Yeah, I still feel like we're in like chapter means. one, to be honest. Like, I think okay. there's so much that I still want to do. Like, we've done like 0.1% of what I hope to accomplish on YouTube okay. That's and with cool. the community. So there's a lot more to go. Um, and it's also the first time that I think like I just turned 22. So like I spent a lot of my like journey in my teenage years. Like everything is documented almost to the week of like since 13 to 22. Wow. Which is cool too. I think eventually to look back on, but I think there's a lot more to accomplish. Like we definitely have clearly or more clearly defined the mission this year with the videos. 
or gonna cool. be. Do you document, do you ever do like, just like a vlog? Like for yourself? Yes, oh, for yeah. myself, like voice memos vlog. Um, like, I think it's super helpful to know things that you're like freaking out about to then like look back a year from now and be like, oh, like that actually didn't end up being like the end of the world. Um, I think entrepreneurship is, I saw a meme that was like, it's like, we're so back and oh my God, what's going on? And I think like <laughs> YouTube is similar where like you think that you've like come up with like the best idea. And I like the idea of like nothing is as good or as bad as it seems. Okay. Like um, you just have to be able to adapt. And like if a video like smashes, you still are showing up the next week to make another video. And so mm -hmm. I think you just have to like fall in love with the process of the work and the videos. My next question. Yeah. In, this, in the tech space, there are so many creators in the tech space that are making similar looking content in the studio, at the desk, at yeah. that white table, gray background. <laughs> top, down, <yeah>. yeah. <laughs> top down camera, all of that. How are you making your channel and your content different? Yeah, like differentiate? Yeah. Yeah, um, something that we're constantly thinking about, I think the team and I have spent a lot of time this year like defining the mission. I was talking to one of my friends and also content strategist Eric last week and he was like, no one was documenting what the engineers were thinking when they made the iPhone and we can document the next generation of tech. And I really like that because I am doing more interviews now. Um, I interviewed um, the CEO of Google a couple years back. We talked about that in the last take. Um, <laughs> he's amazing. The other way is like, I think as tech becomes more iterative, the really exciting story is seeing it in the real world. Um, and so leaving the studio and like going out in the streets of New York and testing it, I think that's also a more relatable format because if someone's not really techie, they may be kind of like intimidated by like spec, studio, top down. But I think there are tons of people that want to know how tech affects their life, even if they're not like, the stereotypically techie person, and I think being outside feels more approachable because it's like a relatable experience. What do you tell people you do? Yeah. Like and how? Um, so I think the main like one sentence is I review the latest consumer tech and interview the people that make it. It's like the one liner. Um, and then I feel like there are certain times where I don't want people to know that YouTube's my job, and then I'll like really downplay it and I'll just be like, oh, like I make videos for people. Um, cause, That's like, a, I experienced right? that. Today. It opens up it a rabbit like, hole. Yeah, it's like, oh, what's your channel? And then. They're right there You're looking in. at it. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna watch the video in front of you. I remember like I was on a date like a few years ago and it like came up and they watched the no, video. No, they didn't. I was like, what are you no, doing? Not right on now? the date. Yeah, I was like, Just say, oh, I subscribed <laughs> and do it later. Yeah, it was brutal. Um, but like funny. <laughs> but brutal. Um, wow. Yeah, so I feel so like So you don't even tell people prior to a date. Uh, well, it depends on how I've it met depends. them, right? Like, okay. if like, we're depends. friends and now we're going on a date, they probably would know. But if it's like a first date and they don't know and like it comes up, then they yeah, probably would know. Yeah, and it's like, okay, what do you do for a job? Yeah, and you also, just like, say, like, I'm so passionate about work that like it's going to come up because I'm, like, I love it so much. Do you just say that like you you make videos? Or, yes. Like, edit, like if you don't film? want them to ask any further questions, you try to make it sound as lame as possible. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> I sit in a room and I. Talk to them. <laughs> Although that probably would get more questions asked. Cool. What are you saying? Uh. Right now, I'm trying to build my channel, so I, I tell people. Yeah, I, you're like, please yeah. subscribe. I'm like, I do, I do YouTube. Usually people just go, oh. Yeah, and then well, I will away. say, like, I think I'm a big believer in, like, doing the unscalable things in order to get scale, and, like, an unscalable thing would be telling everyone about your YouTube channel, because I think that eventually scales. I don't tell everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Only when somebody comes up and asks, okay, I go, I got you. oh, I make videos on YouTube and TikTok. And that's it. And like, if they ask, okay. then further. I got but, you. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going like, oh, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, cool. Thanks well, for having me on. I think that's it, Jacqueline. Uh, you have more okay. of the video to film by yourself today. And yes. I'm, I'm out, I'm gonna go back home. So Jacqueline just went her own way. We're done shooting for the day. That was really fun. I had a good time. I feel like I got some really great shots. I think that video is gonna turn out great. I'm headed to the subway because I'm gonna go back home. I just saw this little park. I thought that was nice. Oh, what's up? What's it's up? Jacob. What are you doing here? Right, <laughs> good to see you. Oh, cool. Adam um, Chich. Did you spill the coffee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's not Wait, how I, I you totally up. just got. That's not how I... No, that's how I know now. Jacob does app development, and he also vlogs in the city. So if you're an app developer and you're looking for a YouTuber to watch that does like vlogs of their lifestyle here in the city, he's a great person to watch. I'm gonna link his channel down below as well. We got a lot of YouTubers in this this video, but you know that's what this channel is for. That's what it's going to be for. It's uh, so that I can interview the creators that I've surrounded myself with and bring all the information that they've learned from their experience and give it to you.
we gonna solve them? Well, today was an incredibly productive day. So if you want to see more videos like this one about creators in the city. What's up guys? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my channel. Because I got more videos. I'm roommate and I'm doing laundry at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I got more videos coming that will be connecting with more creators. If you ever want to come by a creator's Saturday meetup, you should definitely come by. We post the meetup every week on our broadcast channel on my Instagram account, so make sure you check it out. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, expect more videos like this.